Hello again and welcome to my studio. My name is Blanca with Furniture with Imagination. And today we're going to be converting these beautiful vases that I got at thrift stores into something a little bit more modern. Um, and we're gonna give, give them a look like our age. Um, different tones and colors, but a little bit more modern. So I realized Christmas is coming and um, I really like to decorate with a lot of flowers, dry flowers, um, you know, decor for Christmas. And I thought, well, maybe I can do something for friends and family that is very special. And um, yeah, so let's going to be doing this beautiful, nice decor for home, okay? So uh, don't forget to tag three friends um, today and put any questions in the comments down below. I'll be more than happy to answer your questions um, and uh, let us know from where you're watching. I always enjoy seeing from where our audience is, okay? So let's get started then. So we're gonna be starting with our first base and uh, the first step that I did is to actually clean it with clean slate just to ensure that any grease, any anything that might have been stuck to it um, gets fully uh, cleaned up and lifted off the base so our paint has a chance to stick and our finish is going to be perfect okay so i did that and now i'm going to be using one step paint on my has buff um, as a primer I am covering completely my vessel with the one step paint and I'm using a synthetic brush for this step. You can use a synthetic brush or a bristle brush, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be absolutely perfect, just make sure that it's not too thick. Um, but you want full coverage for the next step and this is going to allow us for our next step to stick to it and be lasting. Okay, so our base is now dry and we have the uh, um, our primer per se which is one uh, one step paint fully dry so we're next uh, ready for our next step and our next step is going to be applying um, a next coat um, and we're going to be doing a little bit of texture so I'm going to be using one step paint on this uh, uh, beautiful Parisian gray which is a very beautiful light gray color and uh, in order to give texture to the outside, we're going to be putting inside the paint some Venetian plaster. Um, this is going to give it uh, a little bit more texture and we're going to be applying it with our cheap brush um, to just give that look of, you know, like a rustic um, type of pottery, okay? So we're going to be mixing this. So we're putting a little bit of uh, this Venetian, um, I'm sorry, this uh, Parisian gray, which is a beautiful gray. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more. And we're going to be doing Venetian plaster. And this is gonna be just a tiny little bit, so otherwise it's gonna thicken too much the paint. It's just, Honestly, like maybe a third of what you put on the paint. So I kind of didn't measure, but just like I'm eyeballing. And just mix both. You're gonna have an open time of about probably half an hour. If it's too, too thick, you can always put some water, which I'm gonna be putting a little bit of water, um, otherwise the consistency is going to be too thick. There you go. It literally looks like um, sheep rock, a little bit thicker than sheep rock and probably we're going to need a little bit more water or a little bit more paint. All right, so I'm applying the mixture that I created with Venetian plaster and one step paint on Parisian gray. 
I'm using a chippy brush for application and what I'm doing is I'm stippling um, the vessel with the mix. Uh, make sure that if it's starting to dry you put water in the mixture but it should last for at least half an hour to an hour. So continue doing those motions in a stippling way and just cover the entire vessel. It's very simple. You might have to do two applications just to make sure you have enough texture but you can do more if you like um, this is just for the effect I want to create now I'm just doing a close-up so you can see how the texture looks like it's looking definitely really nice Okay, good. So we um, sanded this down and it's really nice to the touch now. Um, and uh, it, it has also texture, we preserve the texture. So the next step is going to be, we're going to apply more color on it. And I chose uh, this Java One Step Paint, which is a brown neutral color. And this is Atelier, which is a darker gray. And I put a little bit on the side of the base color, which is the Prussian gray, which is the light gray. So we're gonna be doing a, some sort of like, you know, application of different colors, um, dry brushing. So how you do dry brushing is I'm gonna be using this uh, chip brush and uh, we're going to be dipping the paint only like tiny little bit of paint and then just applying it in different parts uh, to make a design that it has different colors okay so we're gonna start I'm starting by sections and the first part I'm going to be painting is going to be the bottom of the vessel the color I'm going to starting with is going to be this Java um, color it's a nice light brown and as you see I'm applying it uh, with almost no paint on the brush it's like dry brushing because I don't want the paint to be too strong I want to make the look like is has like different colors blending together and is looking like um, like rustic type of thing so if you can see you're starting to see the color and it's like really nice because the texture actually traps the paint and gives you that different tone uh, with the same color so at the bottom i'm going to do more brown and on top i'm going to be doing um more like a darker gray which is the atelier uh, gray and then I'm, the way I'm going to be blending the colors is going to be the same way, but I'm going to apply a little bit of water and start blending the colors that way. So there's no like a difference between two colors, but they look to be blend. Look, I'm putting more water in it and then I'm blending uh, my grays with brown. And just do that throughout. You can do the design yourself and you can just achieve the look you want and with the different colors. Here's our first base done. And I want you to see the different tones and the texture and what the texture did to achieve those uh, colors blended together. It's really pretty and uh, looks actually fantastic with nice texture. Okay, so we are going to be doing our second vase. And uh, the steps are pretty much the same than the other one. Uh, we're going to prime it with one step of paint on Baja's buff. And you just want to have full coverage of the entire base and make sure you do the inside, uh, the top inside as well. So you have some consistency and it's looking like very much an original. So I'm not going to actually have you watch my entire priming, um, but just so you have an idea, it's just going to be one coat and that uh, you want full coverage. Make sure that you cover everything. Okay, so this is dry now um, with our um, Bajas Buff Once They Paint. It's all dry and ready for the next step. So our next step is going to be to use 
Venetian plaster. And uh, what I did is I mixed it up. Um, you know, the consistency is like sheet rock. And I tainted it a little bit with the Parisian gray on step paint, uh, just to give it a tone. And we're gonna be applying this um, to this vase, uh, and we're gonna be giving a little bit of a design with texture, okay? So here it is. On this step, we are applying Venetian plaster. This is a thicker compound of consistency and uh, it's definitely gonna be a thick layer. So I'm applying it with my bristle brush and I'm ensuring that I cover the entire vessel um, inside the ring and outside. And just make sure you don't miss anything. But this is gonna give it this very nice um, thickness to this vessel. I'm stippling a little bit and then we're going to actually soften it a bit and uh, yeah just uh, doing that throughout the base and we're going to let it dry. I just want to show you what it looks like after the first application of Venetian plaster and I'm going to be doing a second coat but I'm going to be molding a design outside. This is the next step uh, to do in this vessel. I'm just going to be applying a little bit more Venetian plaster to have enough uh, to start molding a design on this side. This is the most beautiful fun part um, when you actually can open up your creativity and do anything you like. You can make with the Venetian plaster make any pottery look like really rustic, have little designs, make it look like it's cracking, or make it um, have some designs, like you can even use stencils and make your pottery look absolutely outstanding with really beautiful designs. So the imagination is your limit. So here what I'm doing is a little bit round opening, like if the pot is kind of like breaking up it's actually really old and rustic and we're going to paint it in different tones to make that impression more uh, intense so here i'm almost done and uh, you can absolutely have fun uh, i love venetian plaster to create texture and uh, forms especially with pottery it really gives the appearance of real real pottery that you have done with your hands so after that, I'm just going to level all the uh, Venetian plaster and the rest of uh, my vessel um, just to make it look like it's more real and uh, not like, it kind of like looking in a rustic way. So um, after that step's done, we're going to let it dry and we can start painting. Doing a close-up for you so you can look now that the Venetian plaster is dry how it's looking so beautiful those cracks and the design i'm applying now the base color for my vessel and the color i chose is this beautiful gray called atelier and i made a mixture of um, one part paint and a third part of finishing plaster i mixed it really well and i'm applying this like if it was paint the reason why I did it is to add more texture. So you just build your texture and build it up and build it up to make it look really natural and real. And then once this paint is dry, we're gonna actually put more colors on it. I'm going to be applying the different colors now and blend them together to make the final step on my vessel. So I am misting number one the vessel not everywhere but just in the part that i'm going to be starting to paint like this side is first so i miss that part first uh, the technique is the same than before is dry brushing so it's very very little paint and the water helps to actually um, get the paint where it needs to go but it's very very little 
amount of paint. As you can see, it's not saturating too much and it's just giving a shadowy look. So I'm starting at the bottom with a lighter color. This is Parisian Gray. And I am using also a brown uh, Java color. And I'm going to be introducing a new color, which is going to be black. And um, here I'm using Java. And this is actually just giving all these stones like a shadowy uh, effect. Like here I'm using the black now. And I'm just actually playing with colors and you can make any design you want that's up to you to create your own design. I'm doing my final vessel and uh, the first two steps I did not show here but I primed it with one step paint on Baja's buff and then I did the same technique with my first vessel which was applying Parisian gray with a third of Venetian plaster and I stipple it on top of it to create the texture. Once that was dry then um, I'm actually now painting and I'm using four different colors for this one in particular. I'm using uh, Parisian gray, Java which is a brown color, Atelier which is a darker gray which is that one and I'm introducing a new color which is actually a green one. Um, the way I'm putting this paint is I'm using the water and the different brushes. I'm using three different brushes to blend the colors. So just go on top of the colors with different brushes. I use one brush to introduce another color and then go back and stipple the different colors um, again. And that's how you are going to be blending the color. So once we finish painting, I'll show you the final result. But earring machination is the limit. Time for the final reveal. And uh, this is our first vessel. Um, as you can see, I decorated it with dry nature. I picked these little branches from my garden tree and it has these beautiful red berries that match with the season, Christmas season. You can use this to give to a friend or family and uh, in this beautiful vessel, it just looks really pretty for Christmas. This is our next vessel and I decided to make this dry nature arrangement as well all in the spirit of Christmas. Um, so it came out really beautiful, looks like an original old vessel. Um, it looks cracked and it has these beautiful gray tones with it and uh, you can see a little bit the back. It looks a little bit more gray. Absolutely looks very authentic and it looks gorgeous if you want to actually give it as a present with a beautiful arrangement. I found these really nice ornaments and these little cute birds uh, and I'm planning on giving these to a special person, a special family member. I hope you like it. Tag three friends because we're giving away a bag of Venetian plaster today so you can make those beautiful designs and gorgeous vessels um, to give to friend and family for Christmas. Here is the last one coming. And here is our last vessel. This one is a little bit large and I decided to decorate it with these brown little type of flowers. Um, it has grays and browns and greens and the texture is just fantastic. So I hope that I gave you some inspiration today um, to create with your hands and uh, combine those colors and do beautiful little vessels um, to give to friends and family for this time of sharing and doing special things for loved ones. So please leave me your comments and I really appreciate uh, if you can tell me from your, where you're watching and don't forget to tag three friends. I hope to see you in my next video very soon. Thank you very much for watching.